With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that Shaina pays rupees seventy five hundred as a rent for three months. How much does she has to pay for a whole year if the rent per month remains the same? If the rent per month is same, we are asked. At how much she will pay for the whole year if she is paying seventy five hundred for three months? So for three months, for three months, Shaina is paying rupees seventy five hundred. Now, if I want to find out how much is she paying for one month, then that will be equal to one divided by three of what she is paying for three months. That is seventy five hundred. Now, when we will divide seventy-five by three, we will get three multiplied by twenty-five will give us seventy-five, and this these zeros will get added. So we will have one month rent of China, that is rupees twenty-five hundred. Now, let's find out the rent for the whole year. So in a year, in a year there are twelve months. So we are talking about twelve months. So rent for twelve months will be twelve multiplied by rent for one month. That is twenty five hundred. Now twenty five multiplied by twelve. If we multiply it, we will get twenty five multiplied by twelve. Five multiplied by two is ten. So zero one is carried forward. Two multiplied by two is four. Four plus one is five. One multiplied by five is five. One multiplied by two is two. So zero five five. Is ten so zero one is carried forward two plus one is three so we will have our answer as rupees twelve multiplied by twenty five is giving us three hundred and these two zeros will be added at the back so we will have the rent for one year that is paid by China is rupees thirty thousand thank you for class six to twelve ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.